Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a specific type of slicer that uh, is called a relative data slicer, helps you to create reports for let's say the last three months, this month, this year, next five weeks and things like that. Let's see how it works. I'm Reza from Radicat. Sometimes you want to uh, do a relative date filtering. If you have a date field in your Power BI report and uh, you have that in a slicer, uh, like what I have here, for example, order date in the slicer, uh, it usually comes as a date range slicer that you can select the range and everything filtered within that range. But if you click on this slicer uh, header and select the type of slicer, you can change it to relative date, right? It's a little small uh, drop down option here. You can change it to relative date. Now, uh, you won't see that if in the format of your slicer visual, the slicer header is off. If you're, if that is off, you won't be able to see that. So make sure that that is on first. And uh, then you can switch it to relative date. And the way that relative date slicer works is really simple. Uh, you can choose, for example, this to be in the last three weeks or months or anything like that that you see in this selection. Um, you can customize it as well. Let me make it slightly bigger so you can see all of these a little bit better. Um, okay, so you can uh, choose this and based on the current date, this will calculate that, right? So here you can see that it is saying from 5th of... Uh, February 2020 to uh, 4th of uh, May 2020, which is the last three months. Now, sometimes you are interested only in those that in those months that are full uh, full months, like May. It is not still a full month. Usually, for financial scenarios, you might want to do that. That is why we have uh, month calendars or year calendar or week calendar or things like that. So in this case. This would be from 1st of February to 30th of, um, of April. <clears throat> it is still three months, but three months, uh, three full months for that selection. Uh, you can say it uh, to be last any of those periods, or you can say this period, which is like this month, this year, this week, uh, all of these selections. You can say next in case you have that future um, data in your data set, you can do the same thing with next. All of these relative date uh, slicer option is also available in a filter. If I have uh, that field, for example, in a filter on visual, on page or on all pages, uh, usually again, that comes as a basic filtering or advanced filtering, but you can choose to be relative date filtering on the filter type. Choose relative date filtering, and then you can do the same configuration, right? In the last or this or next, and then <clears throat> choosing the period. In this um, section, you also see there's an option that says include today. Uh, now, this option is also available for the slicer if you want to include today or not, but in the slicer, it is in the format of the slicer under date range. It is a place that you can say include today or don't include today. Um, and then um, the anchor date is a really important option because um, sometimes the current date is not that important that a very specific date is. For example, you want to select a date, which is, I don't know, fruit picking date and everything to be relative based on that date. That would become your anchor date, which you can uh, come and choose it any specific date you want. And everything would be uh, based on that selection uh, when you choose it in the slicer. Uh, so really simple type of slicer. Um, I highly encourage you to use it. Tell me if you are using it in which scenarios. If you are not using it, tell me what you want to do, which is not possible with this slicer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We have free videos of Power BI and AI weekly.